here ringside and joining me for the main event is the king of sexy boxing, Mark the Dominated Amori. Welcome to K-Side, Mark. Yeah, thanks. It's an uh, exciting main event. Hopefully it goes longer than a round. So it looks incredible. Well, he does. His last two fights, his last fight ended in 16 seconds. His one before that ended in 28 seconds. So let's hope it lasts a bit longer this time. But it's a bit of a tank miller, isn't he? Yeah, I think it's selfish. It's selfish of Sowa to finish it so early. So hopefully this little little muscle man can hold on. Well, he's a uh, former sumo wrestler. Yeah, I don't know how that's going to help him in MMA, but I assume he's a, a very good wrestler too, judging by his build. I'm just wondering whether he's going to start off in the sumo style, but no, touch the gloves and here we go. Sowa has an incredible jab, and you can imagine he'd use it against a guy like this. The height difference, beautiful lead left hook by Soa. He's got that speed. Uh, for such a massive guy, he has a beautiful left jab and a beautiful long left hook. So, I mean, common sense tells you the way he's got to fight. Henry, Henry Miller is actually uh, throwing a few punches early. That's what he needs to do because otherwise Soa's going to take it to the ground and finish him quickly. Oh, interesting. Soa's taking it to the ground. He really could have beat him standing up, but uh, interesting. Exactly what happened. So it's taking him down. He's going to try and ground and pound and finish it quickly like in his two previous fights. I've had a little bit of experience wrestling Soa and getting a man of that size off you is not easy. He's a Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu black belt. He's a monster of a man. So uh, beginning of the end for Henry Miller. Yeah, I think so. He's already got half, half guard and he's raining bombs on him already. I don't see this fight lasting out of the first round. Yeah, those little hammer fists by Soa don't look like much. When you've got a guy that big, oh, big elbow. Oh, that's it, that's it. Massive elbows by Soa, massive elbows. The referee's going to stop this fight any second, I think. Henry Miller is getting damaged in this corner. The referee really needs to stop it. Soa is pouring it on, yeah, and it's over. It. That's it. Great job to Soa the whole fella. They win the belt. Could have been finished about 10 seconds before that, to be honest with you, Mark. Yeah, I think Henry Miller must have flirted with the referee's wife or something because he surely didn't do him any favours letting him take all that punishment. He seems not to be happy with the, uh, with the stoppage for some reason, but I don't say he was getting absolutely pounded out. Yeah, different class of fighter, and if so is going to get back into the UFC, he has to treat the Henry Millers of this world just like he did. He looked fantastic, and uh, hopefully now he can move up in level of competition. Well... UFC Sydney is on March 3. Let's hope that we can see the Hulk back in the cage. Since, uh, first time since UFC 79, where by his own admission was very disappointed in his performance. So he's very keen to get back to the UFC. Let's, let's hope this is another step back in that right direction. Yeah, I think so would be the first to admit his dedication wasn't what it is now back then. And if it wasn't for that experience against Eddie Sanchez, he might never have woken up and taken it to the next level. So he's on a roll. The UFC is coming to Sydney. Why wouldn't they use him? Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dean Williams puts a stop to this contest. One minute and 24 seconds in the first round by ground and pound. Your winner by TKO and UIKB Super Heavyweight MMA Champion, Sala Kaha! Nice to see the Rapid Loss crew here. Also, Xavier X-Man Lucas.